we are going to go over a few spots in Dragon Hunter that can be a little challenging. I would encourage you to do repetitions on each one of them, especially the ones that are a little hard for you. If you can do this over a couple days, that'll make it easy for you. The first spot I want you to look at is measure 11 and measure 13. You'll see it's a dotted half note followed by a comma for a bow circle and then a down bow. So we have to steal from the dotted half note to create a, a little tiny rest to do our bow circle. So save your bow. I'm in measure 11, three, four. One, two, three. See how I almost made it a rest, like a half note and a rest? I'll do that again. Ready? And one, two, three. So make sure that you give yourself time to do the bow circle. You're going to steal from the dotted half note. The next spot is that very next measure, measure 14. And it's a little bit of a tongue twister. I'm going to do the two notes before in measure 13. So if you practice that, say 10 times slow one day, the next day five times slow, three times fast, two, three, two times as fast as you can, and each day try to get your repetitions faster, you can eventually go pretty fast. So let's just do two repetitions together. We're going to start on those two eighth notes in measure 13. One, two, three. But that was probably too fast, so let's slow it down. One, two, and three, and. So the speed that you go each time is slow enough. You have to go slow enough that you can get the notes, and then you can get faster. I want to point out the two up bows in measure 17. That's with a stop. So measure 17 sounds like this. Then, um, measure 24 sometimes requires a little bit of practice. It's just the slurs, so. And you guys know to practice that with stop bow, so. So practice with the stop bow for a couple days and then the slurs will come easy. Finally, I want to talk about the map, how you play this. You start at the beginning, you play all the way down until it says DS Alcoda. DS means go to the sign. So you're going to jump back to four. If you're using beginning orchestra music, that's A. So measure four. And then you're going to play there. You've already played this music. You keep playing until you get to the coda sign, which should be at the end of measure 26. Some of the beginning book, the Code sign didn't get placed correctly. It's at the end of measure 26. You're going to jump, portal, move, all the way down to the bottom where it says coda. So um, finally, the last bit of instruction is uh, the beginning. It's really easy to want to go with the cello bass. You have a dotted half note. The same thing at the beginning of the coda. So it's slow, slow, bow. Cello bass have so you guys change your notes at a different time. So make sure you're doing slow, slow bow and staying with the violins. Again, that's also at the coda. There's a lot of little commas in this. I did not write bow circle in everywhere. If you need to, go ahead. One more thing for Dragon Hunter. When you go back and forth between pizzicato and arco, it's hard to sometimes do all the way into the fist. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our wrist and put the pointer finger out. So, notice I hit the G string. So I have to look at the string when I pizzicato. That's the only thing that works for me.
Okay, let's get ready to play. If you are recording this time, make sure you have everything ready to go. Start recording in three, two, one, go. Thank you. 